Hi and welcome to my latest YouTube video. So in this video, I'm going to be performing the Wilcoxon's uh, test. The Wilcoxon's test is a non-parametric alternative to the paired samples t-test. So I've already done a video on the paired samples t-test. Essentially, the paired samples t-test is a test which examines whether there is any statistically significant difference in the mean score between two dependent variables across the entire sample. So I've already done a video on this, so I'm not going to be performing that test here. What I'm going to be doing is the Wilcoxon's test, which is a non-parametric alternative, as I said. So what do you mean by non-parametric alternative? A non-parametric alternative test uh, or a non-parametric test uh, is a test that, as, that does not assume a normal distribution. So it does not have to have a normal distribution uh, to be performed. Moreover, in this test, we are going to be using ordinal variables instead of continuous variables. So those are the two major differences. One is we don't assume a normal distribution of data. And secondly, uh, we use ordinal variables instead of continuous variables. So let's go ahead and perform the test. So in order to perform the Wilcoxon's test, uh, we need to go to Analyze. We need to go to Non-Parametric Statistics. We need to select two related samples. Now here we're going to select the two ordinal variables uh, which we're going to test. So I'm going to be selecting the level of anxiety as one of my ordinal variables, the other one will be the level of depression. Remember both of these variables are in the ordinal form. I need to then select Wilcoxon at the bottom here and then click on OK. So now we have the results over here. So here you can clearly see that there is definitely a huge difference in the mean rank uh, 6 and 19.86 and more importantly you can see the z-score which is minus 5.43. So based on that, we have calculated the significance, which is 0 0.000. So that means the results are statistically significant at a very high level. P is less than 0 0.001. Uh, the other thing to note here are the negative and the positive ranks. So you can see that there is only uh, one case where the level of anxiety has been less than the level of depression. On the other hand, you can see in all the, uh, in, in several of the cases, almost 37 of the 50 cases, you can see that uh, the level of anxiety has been greater than the level of uh, depression. Uh, moreover, there have been 12 cases where there has been a tie in terms of the ranking. So we're going to be interpreting all of this uh, in the next part of the video in a table form. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so I've put everything uh, in a table and I've explained it. So table 1 shows the results of the Wilcoxon test between the level of anxiety and the level of depression of the respondents. Among the total cases, there were positive ranks in 37 cases, negative ranks in 1 case and ties in 12 cases. You can see that in panel 3 over here. This indicates that there were 37 cases where the level of anxiety was greater than the level of depression. On the other hand, there was only one case where the opposite was true. That is a case where the depression was greater than anxiety. There was only one case like that. Furthermore, there were 12 cases where there was a tie in the ranking. Yeah, you can see that. The positive mean rank, 19.86, was higher than the negative mean rank, 6. You can see that in panel 4. Furthermore, the z-score has indicated that the results are statistically significant at a very high level in this regard. So you can see that uh, it's 0 0.000. So p is less than 0 0.001. Thus, it can be said that in general, the respondents are more anxious than depressed. Okay, so that's the conclusion that we draw from this. Uh, furthermore, the null hypothesis is that the median of the differences between the level of anxiety and the level of depression equals zero is rejected. In other words, there's definitely a difference and the difference is statistically significant as well. So that's about it for this video. Uh, this is a non-parametric alternative to the paired sample t-test. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, then like the video and subscribe to my channel. Thank you and bye for now.